So I'm uh, in the middle of a summer cold and I have forbidden everyone from approaching me or talking to me. And to comfort myself, I dipped a little bit into the fresh pond that is Seaman Sheps. Um, so what is Seaman Sheps? Seaman Sheps is an American jeweler that's been around for a century. Um, they have a boutique presence. They're not one of the bigger jewelers because they make everything pretty much in-house, soup to nuts. And the quality of their stuff is absolutely extraordinary. I personally love Seaman Sheps. This is mine because of their ability to have a lot of imagination, creativity, um, skill set, and quality, but they don't look like anyone else and nobody looks like them. And in fact, actually, they've been ripped off a lot. I mean, people, they were the first to do a lot of things and a lot of people have copied them, but nobody with their kind of quality. For example, for myself, when I was buying something as ephemeral as a shell piece of jewelry and spending several thousand dollars on it, I was like, what am I doing? But the fact is that Seaman Sheps makes it so well and uses such good quality materials that I don't worry about it. They also do something that's like a pendant with the seashell or perhaps an earring with the seashell. They don't make rings, they don't mess around, they know you're gonna crush a ring, but if I take care of this, because of the quality of the piece, it's gonna be just fine. And now notice this, the shell has purple and yellow in it and then they drilled it and bezeled amethyst and citrines. It's just this attention to detail and design that is truly phenomenal. Um, I have this one for the store. Look at how pretty this thing is. It has little pink corals and little pyramids. And these little pyramids are very distinctive for Seaman Sheps. And then at the base is a terminal of a coral. So I have those. I have these earrings, which I've long fantasized about. But look at these. Look at how sweet these are, how beautiful. So these kind of mirror each other because they are from nature. They're not exactly the same. But you're gonna see these are inlaid with split pearls. And again, you're gonna see that little pyramid of gold. And again, these, on the ear almost look like a neutral they almost look like a pearl earring or something like that it's a really versatile and fresh way to have something you can wear often they're very comfortable the way they're made in the back see how they're inlaid in 18 karat um, these things are special wearable pieces of art and I'm I'm a fan like personally if you can't tell and then when they have this necklace they call it the Astros necklace which you know we're in Houston that's cute Look at this bracelet. It's made out of wood and it has these Florida de lis That's pretty cool too. And then I'm going to show you, this is all gem set. And see, even when they do these fun gems that are like attached like this, look at the detail and all these pieces, the way it all connects. And it's all a combination of raw and imperfect stones. So pink tourmaline with this beautiful South Sea pearl, but everything balances. It takes such genius to not just make this look like you threw the pasta at the wall and it's stuck. It takes somebody that really knows what they're doing to lay all these things out and put them together in a creative and fresh way that is not so formal. You could wear this all the time with just about anything. And you could wear it short if you want because this is broken up into two pieces. And then my last one is their kind of version of a tin cup. They've done this a lot longer than that movie came out, which was in the 90s already and probably I need a new reference. But gold chain with these Baroque South Sea pearls all set with these little pyramids and pearls. It's just the prettiest, lightest look. Um, again, I think perfect for summer.